I have to start recording and then play the game. Because if I press the recording button while this is up, it skips it. And I wanted you guys to see that this game is a very handsome sort of, you know, splash screen. You seen it? It's all good? Alright. Let's get into the game. Now. This is receiver. You have a gun. It's obviously not just point and shoot. There's a lot of uh, specifics with the gun handling. You know, you gotta, hang on, where are we? Open cylinder. Tap in. Whoa! I've got a revolver! Okay, I just tried playing this like two minutes ago and I didn't have a revolver, so this is... Uh... Hang on. Wow, it's a bullet. Ah, close the cylinder. Okay, <laughs> that's genuinely new to me. I've played it like three times now. Not played it, played it, but just opened it up to see if it works. And I've never had a revolver, so... Um... Alright. Going down Mark Chapman style, basically. I'm gonna find the Beatles. <laughs> Knock all three of them off. <laughs> three of them! Alright. Anyway, this is called Receiver. Uh, I didn't pay a cent for it, because there was some special or deal or promotion last week or the week before. I don't know when it was. What just happened? Something beeped. Um, anyway, yeah. Cheap shit that I am. I got this for free, so, uh... Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought it was just a security camera. I didn't realize there was a gun attached to it. Oh. Open cylinder. Refill the gun. All right, all right, John Lennon. It's killing time. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love the Beatles so much. If you can't tell already, just by looking at me. Um. So anyway, yeah, this is called Receiver. What more is it? I think it was one of these uh, make a game in five minutes kind of challenges and turned into an actual game. I don't know if it's one of those, but it seems to be of that ilk. Uh, I don't do a lot of research for this channel. You're Play-Doh. <laughs> look at this, I fucking did it, I nailed it. It's reduced to so much robot poodle, look at that. It might as well just be a piece of modern art now. It's killing days are over. Oh, that's a bit of pill to swallow. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a Whoa. Alright. Uh, I don't need to jump off the balcony. Wait, why? How do you shake out the... Shake it off! Shake it off! Shake it off! Well, I asked, could still use some of them. <laughs> no! Alright, I got a minute. Alright. I've got to stop wasting bullets. This ain't just standard, uh... Colt 911. God. If you recently started receiving, you may wonder why the training tapes are so... Yeah, he, th this uh, dopey sounding guy was reading out like some sort of uh, gun history lesson before when I had the Colt. It was fascinating, but not something I really wanted to be stuck into for any length of time. He sounds a bit like critical without the distortion. Into a sinister agenda. If he says nipple, I'm sure the, the uh, similarities will be... To once ...possibly have an impact on the face of a lifetime of oh, a giant rope. deception. I mean the scene of a giant kidnapping. Whoa! Shit! Shit tits! Ah, oh, fuck me. That's kind of spooky how the cassette's just talking to somebody who's not alive anymore. Oh, have I picked up a different gun? No. So what's the basis for my adventure? Like, am I a different guy every time? Is that alive? Am I just starting again? And I kind of was hoping that I'd be up against real human opponents, not just machines. I want a real test of my metal. And I understand that's a bold claim to make for a man who's just been killed repeatedly by you tripods see reality with guns. Painted in Whoa! Of black, but beyond you guys can never tell because the snowball is actually a relatively low effect. output kind of microphone for what we do. But um, And I don't master the audio or anything. But uh, sometimes I make the mistake of turning the computer up way too loud so that you can hear it too. And you might say, Scotty, what the hell? Why do you turn up the computer so loud? Why don't you just record the computer audio as well so that it's all nice and clear? Oh, fuck. This is a holdover from the days when um, we would listen to more music on the channel and I didn't want it to be copyrighted all the time. Um, I still listen to the odd bit of music that's copyrighted. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> don't tase me! <laughs> it's the flying thing from Flubber! I, you know, that's a really bad movie. Like I, I never liked Flubber. I thought it was stupid, even when I was a kid. But um, having gone on a bit of a Robin Williams binge after he killed himself, I, I did reacquaint myself with a bit of that film. I couldn't watch the whole thing. And um, yeah, it's not very good. The, oh! The, what you call it? Oh, not the villains, but the romantic... The competition in the film, the romantic competition, the guy who's going to steal his wife. First of all, that's a very novel concept, stealing someone's wife. I'm, 
don't quite know how that works. Um, is my gun loaded? Oh, apparently it is. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what point I was going to make. Yeah, yeah, the plot was just not very realistic. He walks into Robin Williams' classroom at the start of the film. Is all like, well, next time I'm going to steal your wife. I mean, I've already stolen all of your... Oh, I've stolen all of your inventions, and now I'm going to steal your... How does that work? What was... What got me onto Flubber? Oh, yeah, the flying robot. Um, gee, it's a bad film. There's this bit where the, uh, the flying robot girl has made, like, a, a real human woman version of herself that's just on the computer and it's talk it de delivers a touching final message to Robin Williams and... Did I get it? Oh. Well, that's what I think of you, Zevo. What's his nose? <laughs> Weeboo? What's her fucking name? The, the flying robot from uh, Flubber. All I know is that it makes like another one. Like it has plans for a daughter or something like that. Whoa. Um, <laughs> um put magazine... How do I do this? Equip magazine. Insert magazine. Pull back slide. Alright, we're rocking. I did. I did it. We're ready. <laughs> that was desperately bad. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, focus. Concentrate. Get to the full Yoda thing now. Mm. I have had to be practicing my... Uh, what you call it, my Yoda impersonations lately. Obviously they're not getting any better, but I've just had to remember some of the quotes a bit more regularly because my nephew Leon now knows who Yoda is. Uh, he's about one and a half years old, by the way. So, he's, he's, this is a recent discovery for him, Yoda. Uh, oh, shite! What's going on? Hey, guys. <laughs> I, I love this game, though. it's really cool. Oh, okay, there's, the, there's, the, there's the fucking thing. Oh. Why is my gun pulling? Pull back the hammer. Pull back slide. Aim. Like, why isn't it firing the gun? <laughs> Alright, I have to do it again. Oh! Am I getting it? Eject magazine. See, this is tedious, this part of the gun. Holster weapon. Insert ma um, bullet. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright. Draw weapon. Oh. Okay, now we're now we're fucking ready to kill. Oh, I wasted a bullet. Every bullet counts in this game, guys. You see what I just did then? Very, very irresponsible. Okay. Um, eject the magazine. I haven't really got anything left, have I? Just wave the magazine at my foes. Keep your keep your eye open for bullets. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> are they are they coming after me? Okay, I think I got away with it. I think I distracted them. How do you <laughs> It's not really possible to distract the enemy when there's only one of you. Oh, okay, hang on a minute. Is there anything I can do with this fucking... Oh. Maybe the robots won't know that I'm unarmed. Oh. How do I get rid of this stupid mech? Oh. Alright. Ah, it's a leap of faith! You must believe, Junior. You must believe. Oh, crap. Jeez, you can't fall very far in Receiver, can you? Receiver is the nickname for <clears throat> what one of the men in a gay relationship will do. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can ask my brother Paul. Um, now what do we do? Uh, pull back slide. Okay, don't toggle fully automatic mode because um, that would require, require discipline and skill. I could wind up taking out half the building with my... with my aimsmanship and gunsmanship. <laughs> With my gun craft? I don't know, what's the what's the best way to describe man's skill with a gun? Gunsmanship? Aimsmanship? Gun craft? Aim craft? I don't know, this this is a possibility. We need to come up with a new... With a new paradigm for the naming of gun skill. <laughs> gun skill, that could be it. Alright. Well, basically because I'm redefining what it means to be good with guns to the level that we need new words for it. Oh shit. I think it is on full, fully automatic mode. How do we get it off? Right. Oh, hang on. Oh shit, what have I done? Eject magazine. God damn. Right. Holster weapon. Insert bullet in magazine. Whoa, this sucker holds about 500 bullets! I never had anything to worry about. Release slide lock. Aim weapon. 
Scotty used the Terminator. Bitch! Oh, is it dead yet? I should be able to just rip this thing off its mountings and fucking use it. Wait, what? Didn't I kill you? It's still making big noises, I don't trust it. Oh, shit! <laughs> Alright, that was a bit awkward. Alright. There we go. Fuck you! <laughs> There's more of them out there! This entire city is crawling with robot guns that don't actually crawl. Whoa! <laughs> it just zapped me in the ribs! Oh. Oh, receiver, what are you doing to me, baby? Whoa! We're in the super lab for Breaking Bad. There's a fly buzzing around here. We're gonna spend the next episode just trying to kill it. It's my favorite episode of Breaking Bad. What's the joke? Uh, Walt, Walt turns Jesse into a fly and then spends the rest of the episode trying to turn him back. I mean, that's the meaning I took away from that episode. Uh, th at the time, there was some bigger meanings. And, uh, a lot of fans of the show were pissed off because it was basically the uh, the show where Vince Gilligan ran out of money, so he just had to like do a show, do an episode that only happened in one room kind of thing. Um, but it, I mean, you know, I think people have a lot of nerve complaining about that because it's pretty amazing that these they can make these TV shows at all. With the money that they're given. Oh, I think we take for granted how, how difficult it is. Oh, shit, you can't run faster than them. And, um, the fact that they managed to come up with anything at all is pretty cool. And a lot of older shows like Star Trek and stuff, I mean, not everyone likes Star Trek, but you consider that they had a pretty low budget too, so they sometimes just had to have episodes that were on the ship. Didn't meant they didn't need to go to any interesting planets or whatever. So, man, you know, I reckon we should just go easier on TV shows in general. Except for the bad ones. I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. Um... Am I being chased? Again? You fucking bitch. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Nice. See? This game's not so hard. I'm just crap at it. Um... <laughs> the channel in a summary. Whoa, I like these staircases. I like the fact that you could probably without too much difficulty hop from one to the next. I would I would never do that in real life. Like, until I was about 15, I couldn't even go upstairs that looked like this, because you could see through them. And no shit, I, just, I was de debilitating. You know, I think the only reason I... Okay, I wasn't 15, I was a bit, bit younger than that. Um, the only reason I got over it is because my high school, which was Swanbourne, and uh, it's been bulldozed now. I'm afraid you can't go there and reminisce about my old days. Um, Swanbourne had a lot of stairs, like that. And if I'd stuck to my previous sort of mode in life, which was just sitting at the bottom cowering, I would never have gotten to biology class. And uh, that would have been a sad thing. Hmm. Had this uh, Middle Eastern guy, was my teacher in biology for a while at least. His name was Mr. Meyer. Fuck me, that man had a temper. There was, I wasn't really going to tell you any anecdotes about him, but um, he did smell, smell rather strongly like. It wasn't like a bad smell, but it was like a kind of soap that you don't like. You know how that works when someone technically doesn't smell bad, because it's not like unwashedness, but at the same time you just don't like their choice of what they used to wash with. Yeah. Although sometimes it was very oniony. Um, anyway. Wow, check that out. I'm being very mean to my ex-teacher. He was actually, I mean, he was alright. Like I said, he did have a temper, but I think most people who teach 14-year-olds generally do. Did I get it? Oh, apparently not! It's still beeping at me. Oh, man. I'm gonna reload on one minute. Oh, man, how do we do this? Uh, quick. What have I just done? Did I even load that? Did I do that in the correct order? Boom. You should be able to confuse the guns. You dress up as his mother and then walk in, and the gun's like, <gasps> Mother! What are you doing here? Oh, imagine the heartache the robot would feel when its mother shoots it. Oh, I wish I had to... I wish I hadn't even joked about that now, I feel terrible. Oh. Pfft. Eject magazine. Alright. What am I doing? Is this... Oh, fuck me. Okay. Draw weapon. Man, this is in intense. I swear, using a real gun's gotta be easier than this. Oh, ow! Oh, my ribs! Oh shit, my guy bled to death. How much more of this should I play? You've basically got the idea, this is receiver, guys. Um, like I said, I got it for free. No idea if that's still a thing. I could not play this without having the instructions up. Look at that. Whoa, my torch, I found it. I'm in full molder mode. 
man, I wanted to, about a year ago I was fucking ready, primed and ready to do a video of the mid-90s X-Files game. Um, it had like full motion video acting and stuff. Really bad. Really shit. <laughs> and um, I want, yeah, I wanted to do that because um, I think you guys might remember a while ago we were playing something called Spycraft, which I still want to actually finish, but at this point it would make more sense to start it again. Um, so if anyone's wondering about Spycraft, we won't continue it, we'll just start it again. Been too long. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, just games like that with full motion video acting. I'm a big fucking fan. I miss it. It was one of the one of the joys of the '90s was finding out that one of your favorite actors was going to be in a computer game cutscene. Of course, you know I couldn't afford Wing Commander when I was a kid, and I didn't have a computer that would run it. But I look at these gaming magazines, and there'd be pictures of Mark Hamill all dressed up, in, and I'm like, oh no, Mark Hamill, what are you doing? Even then, I understood what it looked like for a career to be on the slides. Speaking of which, uh, Barry done in 12, guys. Um, not exactly the most raging of success stories. Uh, just keep it real. Oh! <laughs> Am I dead? Oh, cool. Hmm. This guy was sort of having a, a Boston legal... I don't know. What do you call it in Boston legal when Denny Crane and Alan Shaw wind up the evening with rum on the balcony? Whiskey or whatever. What do they drink on that show? On Fraser they drink sherry. <laughs> Draw. The fastest gun to the list. Wow, well, they only take one bullet if you aim correctly. That's pretty good. If there's an actual point to this game, I mean, I... It's something to do with the cassettes. You've got to find them. I've only found a couple. And none recently, so... Oh, shit. This place is a minefield of robots. Oh! I, am I alive? So how long have you got before a robot fires his gun? Like... Man, that one had some beans. He didn't want to go down without a fight. Oh, that one was very easy. He had a glass jaw. <laughs> oh, man, this game's awesome. I like the techno music too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what techno music is. <laughs> I just spat on my screen. Uh oh, there's one of those flying bots again. Fuck me. Oh, it flies no more. Clearly I will go sailing no more. You see reality painted in All shades the things of black, I said but your world is another. Bait, All the great things I've done vanished like a snowflake. If you are able to hear us, you are sun. one of the few that we can help. We Never more to sell my ship. Where no man has gone before. Ow! And I will go sailing. No more. Okay, I've had enough of this fucking game. Uh, what's it called? Receiver. <laughs> it's good stuff, guys. Uh, give it a go. Ah! Oh, I've got a revolver again. I love that gun. Okay. Re Receiver. Give it a go. It's a good game. 